Good morning, everybody. We have here is one of our loading dock designs in Oaks, Pennsylvania. We started this area. There were no loading docks along this side of the wall, so we added eight of them. It is a little tricky on this portion, working through a lot of the existing steel structure that's behind it. The loading docks weren't easily laid out, as well as site and grading issues to get the proper slope back to the loading dock for the trucks themselves. In addition, you'll notice that the concrete wall is pushed out from the building in front. As this was an existing building, we tried to work around the existing foundations that were there. That's why the wall is pushed out forward a little bit more. You gotta be careful at the angle of the, of the dock here so that the truck doesn't come in at too hard of an angle because then the dock leveler which is a little loose piece here uh, how that works is when the truck comes in this has a usually it's like a foot up or down they can move so if the truck comes in depending on where the deck of the trailer is this makes up that difference so this front piece here flips up the truck backs in it lays down on there and then the forklifts and things can go over it but again you don't want them to come in at too hard of an angle because then this doesn't quite work right and now they're you don't want material shifting in the truck either so the forklifts trying to set things in and move in and out so while it looks easy or you're just backing in you got to really be careful at what this angle is so that the truck can can come in at a good angle and then we can these actually do their job and everybody seems to be safe so we changed out the dock levelers, put new bumpers on there, and these have the wheel locks that we were talking about earlier, and the green go, red stop light on there. So green means the truck can back in, they're fine. Uh, the wheel, uh, there'll be buttons inside, the wheel lock will engage, lock the trailer in place. Um, actually, we can see one up there, we can walk up there, that one's already locked in. And then there'll be a red light on the outside of the building here. Dock lever comes in, they do what they need to do. When the truck driver's in the truck, he knows he can't pull out until he sees it green in his rearview mirror. So, truck's locked up, ready to go. The person inside releases the everything. Green light comes on, then he can go. And you can see these are the 12 foot on center, so they're definitely closer together than what we had on the other side. One trailer engaged, one trailer not. So if you peek under here, you'll see how the dock leveler bridges that gap between the truck trailer and the in the warehouse itself to allow for that. Here's the interior loading dock. Uh, you can see we tried to work the dock doors in between the existing steel structure that was here. Uh, one of the other things we had to take into consideration was the location of this X bracing on the exterior wall to help stabilize the existing building. We didn't want to disturb that. It looks good. In the end, we were successful, able to get the eight loading docks in that the client was looking for with minimal disturbance to the existing interior structure. And as you can see, they're being used and very well received.